I love to fish. I've spent many years working in the Pacific Islands. I love to fish there. The water is so beautiful. But not on a big boat with a fancy fishing rod. In the Pacific, I like sitting on a bucket in a small little boat with some good friends and hand lining close to the surface of the water. One summer I was uh, in the Marshall Islands fishing with three of my good friends. And I was pulling it, the biggest fish of the day. I was so happy. And I pulled this fish up and almost had it up into the boat. And a big shark came up and grab the fish right out of my hand. Now that's stressful. (laughs) My pupils dilated. My heart started to pound. My breathing intensified. I felt sick to my stomach and had this immediate urge to urinate. (laughs) My muscles tensed. And trying to escape, I fell over backwards off my bucket into the bottom of the boat. (laughs) Now, luckily I was not hurt. Except my pride was a little damaged because my three Marshallese friends couldn't stop laughing. (laughs) But, remember, I love to fish. So... I got back up on my bucket. Ooh, I got control of my breathing. I lowered my heart rate and my blood pressure a little bit. Did some simple muscle relaxation exercises. And in just a few minutes, I was back fishing after we moved the boat. Because if you don't move the boat, the sharks will eat all your fish. Stress is a normal part of the human experience. The physiological response that I just described is also normal. It gets our attention. It motivates us to move and get out of trouble. But it's not intended to last very long. And that's what begins to get us sick. Anything you can see, hear, taste, touch, smell, or more importantly, think about, can trigger the stress response. In essence, your brain is preparing you to either run or fight with this stressful situation. Now, the data, scientific data, is clear. Unmanaged stress is unhealthy. And prolonged unmanaged stress is dangerous, leading to both medical and psychological disease. Now, are you ready? I'm going to stress you. Now, if anything I do in the next few minutes, if you have a strong reaction, it's certainly appropriate and acceptable to close your eyes and cover your ears. Anything associated with pain, either physical or emotional, can be a powerful stress trigger. Yeah. A standard hypodermic needle. Ah. (laughs) We've all associated this with pain. I want you to pay attention to how you're feeling and what you're thinking as you observe this trigger. But this is just a little one. Want to see a bigger one?
This is a 14 gauge large bore intercath needle. Oh! <laughs> I want you to pay attention to how you're feeling as you observe this trigger and think about it. I'm looking in the audience here to see how we're doing. Anything associated with unexpected loud noise can become a powerful, powerful stress trigger. <laughs> Balloon. <laughs> oh, look at it. You haven't heard anything. I want you to pay attention to how you're feeling and thinking about this trigger. Now, wouldn't it be nice if our stress triggers just came to us one at a time? <laughs> Powerful stress trigger associated with noise. Powerful stress trigger associated with pain. <laughs> now you don't know me. And you don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Some of the most powerful stress triggers in our lives are other human beings. So here, where the, here is where the worry and anticipation starts. What's he going to do? And we worry. And we worry. And we worry. And you see, <laughs> it's that anticipation and worry that is building the physiological response. <sighs> but we continue to worry. <laughs> and we worry. <laughs> and we worry. <laughs> and we worry. <laughs> and what were you worried about? <laughs> Sometimes it pops. <laughs> Powerful stress trigger associated with pain. Powerful stress trigger associated with loud noise. Anxiety and worry strengthen the power of these triggers and prolong the physiological response. And that's what's so dangerous. And that's why we get sick. It is absolutely essential if you're going to learn to manage this physiology that you make the connections between the triggers in our environment and in our head and the physiological responses they initiate. Now, let's go back to where we started. I love to fish. And I'm so glad that I've learned some techniques to manage my physiology. So even encountering a shark situation in the Marshall Islands, it has not stopped me from going out and fishing again, doing the things that I enjoy and love. You can learn to manage this stress physiology as well. Don't let worry, fear, anticipation 
keep you from doing the things that you love. Thank you and aloha.